team will go home. It's game seven, and it's happening next here on EA Sports. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Takes the puck, but hangs on to the puck. Oh, and swoops up a little too sweet with that save. The shot's come to the middle of the ice, and he hit has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. The Mavericks have it from their own end. Carries it in. Quick shot. Denies him on a slapper. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Hayhurst won the face off here in the offensive zone. There's the whistle. That pane of glass was busted after that heavy shot and probably terrified those fans right behind it. Yeah, everyone was flinching just thinking that puck was going to go straight through, but a testament to how strong the glass is nowadays. It doesn't shatter, it just simply spiders. Nonetheless, it has to be replaced. Pass save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. The Oilers move it in. Shot! Goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. And that's intercepted by Duquette. Nice zone entry from the middle. And that's picked away by Boudria. Quick pass to Buck. And he can't hang on after that hit. Kansas City's got possession of the puck. From the point, they take control of it. And that's blocked. Great reach with the poke check. From one end of the blue line to the other. And that ricochets off a twig in front. And that's knocked away. Puck picked up by the open ice. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Tulsa's got the puck. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Tulsa's on the attack. Knocks the puck loose. Center and feed. Can't connect on the play. Kansas City's got a hold of it along the wall. The Mavericks move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. From a slow wrist shot, and another stop. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Takes the feed. From the right side, they gain the zone. What a steal in his own end. Tulsa's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Good read with the stick to break that up. The Mavericks pick up steam and are on the attack. Takes the shot, and he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Now he takes it over the line. Here he is, takes the shot. Oh, what a save on the clapper. Cotton's body language says it all. He is frustrated, and anytime you're on a team, you want to contribute, especially when you know what you can do. You're a confident player, but all of a sudden, the stick gets a little bit tighter. Habits are a great thing. Numbers are another. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Kansas City's got it in their own zone. The Mavericks take it along the wing. Rocks him on the play. The Mavericks take it along the wall. Shot! Stops him with a glove! Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. The Mavericks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Well, there's so much emphasis on winning faceoff, James, and this is why you get possession and you get a huge opportunity quick off the draw. The Mavericks draw first blood here in period number one. Now, it's been a bit of a scrappy play going back and forth here, James, but they get up by one, and got to wonder if it now opens the game up. 
Hayhurst's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Poked away at center by Koski. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. The Mavericks take possession in the defensive end. McLaughlin's taking it from his own end. Nafbar's got it along the wing. And the defenders come up with the puck. Tulsa has been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it too again, how important it was going to be. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. And there's another stop. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Koski. Here's a short pass to Gervais. Puck grabbed by Cog. Tulsa's looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to McLaughlin. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Takes the feed. Curry's gained the line and on the attack. Fires it on net. Turns it aside with the glove. The Mavericks continue to lead midway through the first. They have really put on an offensive clinic so far. Kansas City's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Kansas City's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it to Curry. Turns it away. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Past the midway mark of the frame, we got a 1-0 game to this point. Sends the pass over. Oh, what a stop! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Here in the later stages of this period, the Mavericks have taken a 1-0 lead. Kansas City's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Oh, he gets his glove on that and just enough to keep it out. Tulsa's in now. The Oilers have the puck in the corner. And now he moves it quickly to McKee. Too much congestion in front. Calvis moves the puck. Picked off in the offensive end. Freeze up possession. Kansas City's got it in their own zone. The Mavericks play it along the boards. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Kansas City's got the lead here late in this first period. The Oilers win the defensive zone faceoff. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Pass out front. Picked off in front. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Here comes the sentence. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. matchup because he's a special player and a good point getter. Jackson's known to bring the offense for his team. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And they managed to clear it. The Oilers played along the way. Kansas City's looking to break out of their own end. And he slides it quickly to Jones. Here's a chance! Scores on the man advantage! He put one home! And this is exactly why you spend so much time in practice working on specialty teams, James. You can see that good movement to open up lanes, just disrupt the box there, and they're able to cash it in. Kansas City's come to play tonight, now leading by two here in the first. Well, a consistent effort through the first period here, James. I'll just want to wind it down and make sure they head to intermission with that two-goal lead. But it's all about the number of shots they're putting towards the net. You know that their coach has been telling them, you get it on your stick, you find a lane, put it there. 
tosses it on to Koski. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Here they come on the attack down the right side. They sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Big save right at the end. There's the whistle, and here's the goal. Portrayal's going off for interference. Come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. The Oilers win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Fires it on net. Scooped up along the wall by McKee. And he blocks the shot. Great defensive play. Nice poke check. Tulsa's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. And the puck clears the zone. Slides it quickly to Knockball. He to the middle. He scores! It takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low-slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. The Mavericks continue to press forward with positive results. Now three zip here in the second. I don't think the goaltender's broken a sweat yet, James, because they've been in the offensive zone, holding possession, dancing around the ice outside, opening their lanes and attacking at will. Kansas City's got the puck against the boards. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Mavericks have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. The Oilers come up with the defensive zone draw. Cods crossed the line and is on the attack now. Angles it over to Hayhurst. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And that's poked away. Quick pass across to Gervais. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Calvis. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. He scores! There's the hat trick and let it rain chapeaus! Yeah, rain chapeaus is right there. That's all over the ice. They're going to have to collect them all. This is going to take some time, but man, has he ever had an effective night. He had two, and he was thinking three all the way. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there are defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. The Mavericks are checking all the boxes here tonight, Cheryl. Right, look at the score. I mean, from all facets of the game, too. Well, let's look at the offensive zone. I mean, they're getting the majority of the shots, but there's a big fat zero on their opponent's side. Why? Because their goaltender's been outstanding, and they've been in good defensive posture, definitely seeing everything. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch. You take another penalty. You gotta find a way to just reset your composure. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. And they clear that puck. Kansas City's got the puck along the wall. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Quick feed to Lodge. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Carries it across the line. Sends a 
to the middle. Dishes it off again here. And there's the whistle as the puck is covered up for a stoppage. Hayhurst set the faceoff dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Denies him on the play! And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Mavericks have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Matsushima's gained possession and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Quick pass to Hayhurst. And he'll take a step back here deep inside his own zone. The Mavericks move it ahead. There's a chance to drop! Scores! What a finish on the play! I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low-slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. Kansas City's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to show no signs of slowing down here in period number two. Yeah, they're not taking their foot off the gas pedal here, James. They've been pushing and pressing all game long, and look at the scoreboard. It's the reason why they're ahead. Who's the puck? Hayhurst has been fantastic in terms of distributing the puck tonight, James. Not a shot-first mentality, but a pass-first mentality. His awareness is off the charts. Kansas City's been just savage in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this second period. Matsushima's won the draw inside his own end. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Duquette's moving the puck through his own zone. Now a quick pass to Nakbar. Scrum along the boards. Kansas City's got it along the wall. Hayhurst scudded against the boards. Still has possession. Here's a short pass to Hayhurst. Made the stop on the play. Kansas City's got a hold of the puck now. Moves it quickly over to Fock. Tulsa's got it in the offensive zone. Takes it to the net. Shot. Scores. Well, they've got a mountain to climb, but they at least have started the escalation. Well, yeah, they're not at the base of the mountain anymore, but I'll tell you, they're looking up, and it's a long way to go. They're going to have to dig in, put their work boots on if they want to claw their way back into this one, James. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Tulsa's been outworked all night long, but they finally got something they can push back with now. Yeah, they've got to continue to push as well if they want to give themselves an opportunity to feel like they can get back in this one. And that's going to start with some hard work, the good old intangibles, and the feeling that they can get back in it. It all starts with execution, though, James, and you have to play physical. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Kansas City's gained the line and into the zone. Sizzling shot, and he makes the save. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Kansas City's got the puck. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Kansas City's got it in the neutral zone. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Works it across to Gervais. That knocks him off the puck. Grabs it in his own end. The Mavericks cross the line and gain the zone. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. From the open ice, they gain the line. Fires it and makes the save. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer. Well, the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression.
The Oilers finally show some life here, but it's still too much to not enough at this point. Yeah, they've been out-battled, they've been outscored, and they've just been outplayed this whole game, but they've got to use that goal as a positive reset and just look forward. The Mavericks win the faceoff. Oh, a quick little pickpocket on the play. Curry's got the puck. Slick feed. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Pod's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates, they have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Kansas City's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Lodge is going to play it against the half wall. Takes a shot. Oh, big time save by Morris. Morris makes a save and has found a way to stay physically and emotionally engaged in this game where his team has just dominated in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Oh, what a little big stop. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. The Mavericks are in complete control of this one. Based on the scoreboard, they have been the more active team offensively all night. Moves it to Farron. Tulsa's crossed the line and on the attack. Puts it on there. This is the net. You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around, and you can see he saw the opening, but wasn't able to put it on net. Tries to feed it over to Kelvis, and that slides right out to center ice. Duquette's taking the puck behind his net. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Duquette's got it in the defensive end. Koski's got the puck along the wing. The Mavericks carried it on the wall. Picked off by Matsushima. Quick feed to Constantini. The Oilers gain the zone. And he hangs on to the puck. Shot! Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often, and he just sails it and misses the net. Hammers one at the net, and that's stopped by Morris. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Takes a shot. Big stop just as time expires in the period. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. Don't miss a chance to see the greatest talents in the world when they visit our city. See the official arena website for details on upcoming concerts. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Kansas City is 20 minutes away from closing out a dominant performance, James. They've been defensively responsible. They've provided a lot of offense when they've gotten into the offensive zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. Here we go, on man rush. Here's a pass in front, and that's stopped. Quick pass to Koski. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Textbook poke check by Boudreaux. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it for the block. Takes control of the puck. Let's see what the officials are calling. I always hated to play in these games.
those games. You just came out flat. Nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. Kansas City's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. And the power play is operating like this, been so successful. Yeah, you can pad your stats. Never knew this one because I was never on it. Kansas City's won the faceoff. Great use of the twig as he puts that one away. Shot, and he makes the save. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Takes the pass. Off the glove. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Answered the call on that play. Looks to pass it to Krimkovic. And that's broken up. Scores! And that one going off the defender for an own goal. Well, you don't see that very often when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck. That's ugly. The Oilers haven't had a lot of things go their way tonight, but they finally got a positive here in the third. They're going to have to outnumber their opponent if they want to claw back from this two-goal deficit. They're running out of runway. they got to find a way to get some chances. And they win that neutral zone draw. Here's a short pass to Lodge. Quick shot! Denies him! Receives the pass. Slides the puck over. Slides the puck across to Matsushima. And he takes the pass. The Mavericks' top line has been so impressive coming onto the ice right now, midway through this third period. You know that they're so tough to defend. They skate well, and they love to shoot the puck. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Mavericks gain control of the puck against the wall. Jones plays it now. In front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Oh, and another quick stop. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And here comes the judgment from the official. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Pelvis has it in the defensive end. They clear the zone. Tulsa's got the puck along the wall. The Oilers take over on possession. Knocked away by Kelvis. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Gains the zone. Here's a shot. Big time center. Oh, off the iron. Tulsa's players are frustrated. They know that you don't get the great looks all the time in the game, and they also know how close this one is. He scores! What a little puck left for the play. The Oilers dial up exactly what they needed, a goal here in the third. A lot of pushback right now at the latter half of the third period, and you know that the coach is going to make some adjustments. You want to have the opportunity to get your star gifted, creative, offensive players out there when you need to get an equalizer. Takes control of the puck, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Goodness, what a save by Morris! Scrum ensues along the boards. Zone. And finally, they ease the pressure, and they look to go the other way. Oh, it's another save on the play. What a save.
sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Pokes it away in his own end. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Stoppage and play offside the call. More than half the period has expired. The Oilers still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. The Mavericks take control of the faceoff. Kansas City's in transition. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Tulsa's got the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? And the puck's kicked free. Grabs it in his own end. Pokes the puck away. Tulsa's in on the offensive attack now. Big play inside the defensive zone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Great save from in tight. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay that ringside. Fox helped his team out by getting in on the scoring. He's had the stronger performance, in my opinion, guys. Here's an opportunity. Face-off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. A critical draw here. Hayhurst won the draw here in their own zone. Jones takes the puck. Smart defensive play there. Solid check to slow him down. Feeds the puck to Putria. And he'll retreat inside his own end. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. And it's easily turned aside. The Mavericks have it now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Devastating collision into the boards. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Slides it up to Paulson. Moves around. Fantastic save! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Tries to get it to Dukin. Kansas City's got a hold of the puck. To the empty net. Doesn't go. Tulsa's got the puck along the boards. with what I saw from this squad throughout this playoff series. And Cheryl, the right team won, and the right team's moving on. You're right, James. The better team won this series, no question about it. And now they'll have to recharge, reset, after celebrating the moment tonight and allow themselves to get ready for the next playoff round because it gets tougher as you move forward. I gotta say, hands down, this is the best tradition in sports here, Cheryl. Well, I love it as well. I mean, you're showing respect for your teammates and your opponents after a hard-fought battle. Yes, on one side it's tough, and on the other it's great, but I think it's well done. Hope you had as much fun as we did bringing you the action here for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabolski. Peace.